I'm not familiar with the PC version of this game, but apparently it's quite the sensation. This is Pangea Fantasy Golf on the Sony PSP. Now you can bring Fantasy Golf wherever you go, as long as you have your PSP with you. Fantasy Golf indeed. Where's Tiger Woods? Golf can't exist without him. Actually, this isn't golf. It's Pangea. Which just happens to be extremely similar to golf. Story mode, tour mode, up to 8 player network multiplayer. And admittedly, I do not care for the art style at all in here. I don't really like cute anime, but Pangea Fantasy Golf is quite an impressive technical achievement and a very well-made game. In fact, one of the most well-made games on the Sony PSP. It's very bright and colorful. As you can see, there's nine different courses and 18 characters that you can play. You unlock them as you play the game. It has a long storyline mode. And while it has a cute anime style and kid-friendly exterior, the gameplay mechanics are surprisingly good. And golf works well in a fantasy environment. It's like a driving game in Mario Kart Land. For some reason, the outlandish colorful backgrounds and imaginative course design work extremely well for this game. Maybe it's because golf is inherently boring if everything is green and, uh, you know, like golf. It's a little more interesting if the background is pink and purple with giant mushrooms. And you're golfing with an umbrella. Most of the shots in Pangea Fantasy Golf are played using a power bar. You can see that on the bottom of the screen. When you're putting, it works a little differently. You line up your shot and then try to adjust for any sort of slope in the green. It's a lot like any other good golfing game when you get down to it. Except this one has a paper bag that watches you golf and giant mushrooms. Yeah. I think that says a lot. The power bar on the bottom of the screen works pretty much like any other power bar in video games. You hit it twice, once on the right to adjust your strength, and then on the left you try to get it in the white for accuracy. There's items that you collect during the game. You can get power-up kind of things. You win Pang when you win tournaments. And during regular gameplay. It's a lot like EA's Tiger Woods Golf Series in that respect. You can buy shirts and shorts and hats and clubs with Pang. Not Tang. Pang with a P. I would have to say that if you enjoy other golfing games and the Tiger Woods Golf Series, you might really enjoy this game. Visually, it's obviously very different. But the very creative course designs add a unique challenge to what could otherwise be a very routine game of golf. Your friends may look at you a bit strange when you jump up and say, I got a birdie, I just won Pang. Now I can finally buy the magic rainbow dress I've always dreamed of. For those of you who do like more of the outlandish, cute anime fantasy style, well, there's a whole lot of characters in this game. You can buy all kinds of crazy outfits for them and modify them, and that, that's also apparently true with the PC game. I found the tournament mode in this game to be a lot of fun, and obviously you start off the game at a very easy level and it gets more challenging as you continue to play it. The storyline will take you a while. What we're watching here is the single player tournament mode. For the most part, the gameplay is fairly realistic. At times you can pull off some uh, pretty wild stuff. 
And the more I look at it, it, it really does have sort of a Mario Kart feel to it. I prefer Mario Kart, but I prefer driving games. And by that, I mean it just it has a whole like car cartoonish, crazy, wild mushroom land kind of thing going on. But at the heart of the game is an actual sports game that is done well and a lot of fun. And that's Pangia Fantasy Golf. It's like Golden Tea mixed with Dragon Ball Z. That rhymes. Yeah!